Hey, this is Mr. Renner. I'm here with Ben Kitchen, who is Student of the Month for Machine Woods. Uh, ben is on like his sixth or seventh project already this semester, um, making bigger and better things than what are um, expected for that class. Um, high quality stuff, um, works super hard, always on the go. Um, wish everybody worked like Ben. Hey, I'm Mr. Smart. I chose Rhino McIntyre because he does everything I ask. He's compliant, he offers to do things, he works hard in his classes, his out classes, his in classes, and uh, he's just a pleasure to have around there. Hello, I am Mr. Port with the choir. I nominated Sage Downs for Student of the Month. Sage is someone who is always very reliable, always really committed to making it a great learning environment, and uh, someone who is just always having a positive attitude and trying their best. So Sage, thank you for all you do for me and the whole choir program. Hi, I'm Miss Hurley. My first student of the month for technical theater is Mason Mattins. Mason was my stage manager for my most recent show and he's shown a great interest in um, all things technical theater and working backstage. He's also just a kind human being who works really hard to support all the all his fellow students. My second student of the month, month for my English 2 class is Taylor Albrecht. She is a motivated young lady who works hard in class but is also good at having a good time and helping out her fellow classmates while asking questions and trying to keep everybody on task. So those are my two students of the month. Hi, my name is Ken Horton. I'm a geometry teacher here at the high school and I'm here with Eli Morris. He's my student of the month for this uh, last year or this last month. Um, Eli does an amazing job in my classroom. He comes in, he works hard every day. He does a great job of kind of controlling the discussions that go on in the class and contributing to those and making sure that, that uh, we stay on task. Helps his classmates that are around him and just always does an amazing job. He also participates in extracurricular activities and he shoots trap for our trap team, which I did when I was growing up. So I think that that's amazing that he gets to do that too. Eli, great job. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mr. Pickett. I have nominated Nolan Oaks for my Algebra 1 class. Nolan has been in both my Algebra 1A and my 1B class. I nominated him because he's been very independent, he stays focused, and he just does a great job. My name is Mr. Pickett, and I've nominated Chelsea Horner for my Algebra 2 class. Uh, ever since the day one of Algebra 2, Chelsea is just uh, on time. She greets me every day. She stays focused in class every day. She works hard every day. So again, the reason I nominated Chelsea is because she just is super, super independent and works really hard every single day in class. So Mr. Pickett and I chose three students in our Algebra 1 class between our two classes. We chose Levi, Carter, and Nolan. Um, these students are really quiet leaders, but they do an awesome job um, throughout both semesters. They've done a good job of just being leaders in the classroom, getting work done, not letting distractions happen, um, and just doing the right thing. And we're just really proud of the progress they've made and the examples that they set for others. I'm Rachel Foreman, and I nominated uh, Ivana Dwyer as my student of the month particularly because she's a joy to have in class. Um, not only because of her personality, which is in, as joyous and effervescent, but because she takes risks. She recognizes that learning sometimes, you don't get the right answer, but she keeps on trying, and I think that is probably the best thing about her. Hello, my name is Rachel Foreman, and I nominated Lauren Gandy for my Student of the Month. One of the reasons, uh, she's an academic superstar. She completes her homework, she participates in class, but what really made her stand out to me is the fact that she's willing to work with others. Um, she makes sure that she doesn't get caught up in shenanigans that are going on, it's, it, but when it's time to work with other groups, she is very cooperative and collaborative, and I think that's excellent. I nominated Chloe and Ellie because they're both hardworking and super kind and helpful to their peers. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Hurst, and um, just real quick, want to give a shout out to my students of the month, Hannon, Danasia, Cooper, and Alex. Uh, I nominated these students because they're rock stars in the classroom, 
always going above and beyond, engaging in the class and conversations and just doing a great job in civics. Uh, for this month, I chose Jade Gallagher to be my student of the month. Jade has done every extra thing I've ever asked her to do. She takes feedback positively and turns it into success on her instrument. Uh, she works hard. She's always a leader in the class. Uh, and she has an attitude that is positive and infectious for the people around her. So congratulations, Jade. Hi, my name is Mrs. Neal and I am nominating Allie Graham for Student of the Month for Senior Math. Allie is a dedicated student. She wants to learn as much as she possibly can in order to grow as an individual and for her community to excel. I'm really proud of her dedication and hard work that she puts forth in Senior Math. She's going to make a big difference in our world. Great job, Allie. Hi, my name is Mrs. Neal and I am nominating Eli Morris for Student of the Month for Physical Science. Eli has lots and lots of questions. He's always thinking, well, what about? And how could that be? Which is a great mindset for a scientist to have. I'm really impressed with his dedication to his learning and how he wants to have all of those questions answered. He's going to make an impact in our community and he's going to make changes in our world. Way to go, Eli. Hi, my name is Mrs. Neal and I am nominating Isidro for Student of the Month for Magic or Science. Isidro has stepped up into a leadership role within our class to help guide the learning and development in our projects within, his, within our large group and then within his small group for presentations. He goes deep into a concept for, for full understanding and then helps with that understanding to his peers. It's been a pleasure to be your teacher, Isidro. And I am nominating Kaylin Heisel for Chemistry Student of the Month. She is an incredible student with an inquisitive mind that is always looking for, but how does that work? How does that happen? Oftentimes, she can answer her own questions with reasoning and evidence, and this is very impressive for someone so young. But I really like the way she helps her peers in her group so that they can develop a sense of understanding, and particularly in their models and in the development of their concepts. So way to go. Great job, Kayla. This is at Kurt, and I have three students of the month this month. My senior student of the month is Aiden Thompson, and she has really challenged herself in developing it into getting ready to take the CNA test and doing her community service in her work hours at Calhoun County Medical Facility, and I'm just really proud of how she's buckled down and finished her senior year. No senioritis there. My junior student of the month is Caleb Seabright, and he had a really rough start to the semester in world history, and now he is buckling down and he's just doing an excellent job, doing his notes, doing well on his test, advocating for himself, very proud of him. My freshman student of the month is Matthew O'Brien, first semester, he struggled and was failing everything. He also wasn't very honest about his academic responsibilities. And for the most part, that has totally changed this semester. He is really adjusting to high school and doing well. Congratulations to the three of you. I enjoy having you in class. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Mrs. Eva, and I chose two of my seniors for student of the month this time. Um, the first one is Austin Jones. Um, so Austin has been a student of mine a couple times, first time in English 2 and now again in English 4. And I'm just really proud of, one, how far he's come. He is a very mature adult at this point in his life and he also works his tail off. So he works hard in my class every day, plus he's working a ton outside of this room to do the things he wants to do for his future. So he's doing great big things. The second person that I chose was Jacob Reeves, um, who was also a senior. And Jacob came to Harper Creek during his high school career. And so this is the first time I've been able to really get to know him, but he is an incredibly hard worker. Um, he always ensures that he's doing things correctly, 
that he masters the material and he has a lot on his plate with the classes here and at the Math and Science Center so he's doing an incredible job.